Hello guys, you are watching Technology Welfare. Let's learn and watch with practical in this tutorial how to downgrade iOS without losing any data on any iPhone or device. Now, firstly, we will check it out manually. What iOS is currently functional on this device? And upon, of course, we will go for either it is unsigned IPSW or with signed IPSW of course easy way we can downgrade iOS on any Apple device. on any Apple device guys how that we will see live here so firstly we will check it out manually if it is not possible then of course we will go for by another way so see here we will come in a software update and we would like to check it out here it's a saying that IPSW 18.3 is up to date. We are not in the positions to downgrade or upgrade it. But of course, we would like to downgrade anyhow. So, just we will go for any administration that is especially I3U tool. In 3U tool, of course, we will go for refresh and the connected data cable. So, see guys here. We have options that is the first here. See? The first is especially that is 18.2.1. Second is 18.3.3 beta 2, of course, 3.2 and 3.1. So he here we would like to uh, the firstly go with this, with, uns uh, with signed, and the point of course, if we would like to uh, go for update with unsigned IPSW directly, we can import, and here, when we import any IPSW, that will be especially fast here. And upon see here if you would like to import this IPSW directly, we can have this one. See now it's imported. Now we can go for here quick flash. And upon, of course, this data would be especially installed on this here IPSW. So, how easily this can be if I go for then it will be especially disconnected from here. So, that's why right now but uh, but here see without losing any data you would like to especially downgrade the entire situation you will have to select the 10 user data right now it has been also downloaded so firstly we would like to uh, from 18.3.3 beta to of course 18.2.1 beta version firstly we will rest and the point if i is there then i will come with this this ipsw that is unsigned ipsw first easily but right now this is downloading so of course it will take time so this is all about in this video tutorial but you will have to select retain user data don't select the quick flash mode otherwise you will lose your data and the upon anti recovery flash mode there don't select it will take much more time and the flash options of course when the iOS is going to damage or it's damaged then you would like to uh, repair then go with this feature so firstly retain user data and the upon of course we will Come with firstly this one and upon when we reach the hair and we will check it out in the condition of this IPSW, it's working very well functionally. The that's that will be okay, otherwise, of course, we will come with the 16.7 points, especially one third. And of course, directly we will have this one and we will click on a flash and it will be imported. This is all about furthermore any inquiry of course I have the query below the comment box guys plus would you manage to the reply of the query and of course it is informative and acknowledgeable then don't forget like subscribe and share with these concerns because this is a thing that will inspire me a lot to make such as an informative tutorial guys so thank you thank you for visiting technological have a great time bye bye